There is darkness. So. Yes, almost a month now. There is serious blackout in Abuja. When I said Abuja, I mean the F city, that is the federal capital territory itself. So there, even the government-owned offices in Abuja are in darkness. Wait a minute. I know what you are thinking, but they have plants and generators now. Yes, they do. But these government offices have been running generators and plants daily to the extent that the plants and gens are developing force. Some ministries have spent so much buying diesel and petrol that they are now operating without electricity. That is to say they are not able to perform their function. Joined with the current situation of fuel scarcity in Nigeria, no electricity. I mean, even the electricity providers themselves are using generators to operate. In FCT Abuja, the capital city, not my village, this is a shame. I mean, what will even private offices do? <laughs> this takes us back to why the government and the people in position of authority need to stop burying their head in the sand like an ostrich, leaving out the other part of the body. That is to say, the issues affecting us in Nigeria is corruption. Corruption must be dealt with in every level if funds are used for the purpose it was meant to be used. In Nigeria, like other developed countries, Nigeria would be a better country to live in. But the problem is everybody wants their cut of the fund meant for social amenities like a national cake. Nigeria is a giant of Africa with no stable electricity, with no stable electricity, no refinery and no solar energy. And these are amenities that are at our reach. But the self-proclaimed giant just make noises like a Goliath. Forgetting that there is a David being prepared somewhere, somehow, someday to cut off the head of the Goliath. For all the people in position of authority, still in the public phone, no problem. David is coming to chop off the head of your Goliath. Away with your head, you the Goliath of corruption in Nigeria.